For the abdominal tutorial, I'm going to be working from the sternum to the pubis and around to the sides. So for the sake of modesty, I'll be wearing a one piece, but remember that fascia blasting is always done on bare skin with oil. So we're going to want to begin with either the master blaster or the face blaster. So we're going to start and it's nice, brisk, very light movements from the sternum down to the pubis running directly up the rectus abdominis. And this should feel really good. One question that I get asked a bit is if the skin is moving, then it is totally okay to take this to one hand and to brace the tissue and stretch and elongate out the abdomen. Then we're gonna move on to the obliques and you just roll to the side and work all the way up to the ribs and down to the hip, as well as around to the backside, remembering that obliques wrap. And there's also so much fascia that is running through here in the lateral lines. Okay, then we can come across, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, hitting the internal as well as the external obliques, and also hitting the anterior and posterior fibers. And I'm showing this quite quickly for the tutorial, but feel free to do this until you really feel like you have prepped the tissue. Okay, then we wanna go back for the work. So we're gonna come in with the original fascia blaster, get a little bit more depth. Remember that you have all of your muscles protecting your organs. So you're okay to give it a little pressure. And we're gonna do basically the same series here. But I'm gonna give you a few little tips because I know a lot of people are working their abdominal area for the look. So I wanna make sure I give you ways to carve out your abdominals. So we're gonna start with the rectus abdominis. Anyone that has C-section or other scar tissue, feel free to go right across it in both directions. I call that the teeth brushing direction. So you can either brush them to the side or you can brush them up and down. Then you can come back and do what we call the baseball diamond. So if you think of your pubis and your hip bone and your sternum and your other hip bone as a baseball field, you can go from home to first, which is really nice for the low V. Then you can turn it, go from first to second, you can go from second to third, and then we take it on home. Okay, you can also go on to the edge of the fascia blaster like this and give yourself hopefully a 12 pack going in between the musculature of the rectus abdominis, following it as if you are chiseling a statue. Also, I wanna add that I really do like to get, as part of the obliques, up onto the rib area. If you are a female, you wear a bra, a lot of times that can pinch the fascia, and we tend to get really tight through here, and also have the rippling effect. So it's really good to do the ribs, and from a functional standpoint, there's many lines of fascia that crisscross here. Then we just go back and really get the obliques, front and back and again you can do this we say two to five minutes per region but you can do it as long as your body will tolerate it and then we just quickly do the other side not forgetting the rib cage and if you had any areas that were sensitive or it felt like the area was trapped in some kind of way, you can always go back with the nugget of the mini one or the mini two. Typically people tell me along the ribs, so I'll use that as the example. So say that this felt really tight, you just go right back and poke and wiggle wiggle. This is a technique that we use for every area of the body, but it's super awesome on the ribs because you can actually push down between the ribs and palpate the fascia.
very highly fascist area on the body, those rib cages. If you've ever eaten a rib and pulled the meat off the bone, you're gonna see a lot of fascia. And we have the same thing in our bodies. And do this technique as well as all of the others until the tissue is completely smoothed out.